She had it in the big thing. And I, I don't know. When she told me, uh oh, it's lovely. We love it. Yeah, it's very nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Not to put any pressure on you, Sissy. <laughs> Not to put any pressure on you. This is how I got through the pandemic, by sitting in the house and doing puzzles. And this is a Van Gogh. The poinsettia? Yes. So we have all kinds of sugar arts here. They're old fondant and gum paste. And then all kinds of chocolate here. And I can, I can pretty much do anything for anybody. <laughs> wow. Uh, What's it made out of? It's sugar. It's fondant and sugar and gum paste. It's all edible. No biting. A little ladder of snowmen. What's and, it made out of? Uh, well, these are fondant, um, just so that I can use them for over and over again. But it's normally a cookie. Um, so that's it. Wow. Think of it as a Tootsie Roll that gets hard. Huh. A lot of different orchids. No, 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 what an artist! <laughs> and now Alice does a lot of things left for this. Oh. This is obviously the Great Falls in Patterson from a photo that I took. Back here we have Venezia, which is nice, obviously. And the other one is a foggy Vesuvius because that's. Uh, from a photo that we were on, a, we were on a boat outside of those boats, and I took that picture, and then of course I did the painting from it. Beautiful. And then this is my knitting. I I design and knit. I've been knitting since I'm five years old. Knitting, sewing, and crocheting since I'm five. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Are you cold? Is that your mother? This is my mother. Beautiful. Looks like yes. a movie star. And my dad pencil sketched her during the war. You know, they weren't married yet. And Beautiful. he also did this plane. And I, I know he was a very, very talented man. He died young. He probably could have done a lot of things. Photography was one of his hobbies. But he was, I thought that was beautiful. Yes, lovely. Actually, under this, <laughs> that was him. Uh. <laughs> you know, Beautiful. he always found a way to keep busy. This is diamond art. I sorted out with 3D pictures. These are 3D. So you can touch them. They're all 3D. Well, whenever you can do that, so I did it myself, then you can choose. Right? Right.
See how small they are, the stones? Yeah. During the pandemic, we had um, time yeah. that we didn't normally have. So that time, I only made it for my granddaughter, um, who got married. It's just watercolors that are painted over the years. And, uh, I put and a sketch of our grandson and an uh, unknown object here. Show us the back of that. Okay, sure. Whoa. Is this an explosive? This is, this is a, a, a device I designed and built 40 years ago, which now to be probably put into one chip. And it's a binary clock? It's a binary coded decimal clock. Which means what? Which means that if you have to tell time. This is one, two, four, and eight. These are seconds, minutes, and hours. So it's one, fifty-seven. Impressive young Skywalker. Oh. It's all little pieces of fabric sewed together. If you can visualize this, she designs them, and then she sews every one. How long does it take you, Barbara, to make one of these? Oh, this would take uh, quite a while. All those pieces, uh, right. it has hundreds of pieces in it. Uh, they're fabric, cotton, usually 100% cotton. And where do you find them? Uh, in the fabric stores. And you're beautiful. Uh, uh, yeah, um, yes. Yeah. Uh, the other one. So, whatever, there's so many of them. Right? Well, those are called yo-yos. Yo-yos. Those are called yo-yos. And they're sewn. Can you imagine the work that goes into these? Yes. And these are little pieces, almost like a ravioli that are stuffed, and then it, 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 it creates like a little puff. <laughs> this one is um, like pieces that are shaped like a ravioli, and then they're stuffed with batting, and it makes them puff out a little bit, and then they're all sewn together. Beautiful. But each one is uh, sewn individually first, I I started out by going to a evening um, adult class, and um, I really liked uh, the class. And I talked to the um, to the teacher about it, and she invited me to uh, join a group that she was running that did quilting. And I did quilting for 20 years. Every week we met a group of ladies, and that's how I learned my craft. When you we're looking to at knitting, no, knitting shawls and sweaters and baby stuff. Okay, so Lovely. here's a necklace. You made these? Yes, I did. Beautiful. What's it made of? It's made of yarn and beads. And this is a sweater that one of the people here wear, that live here. They should be with the queen. Those two necklaces are so magnificent. Really, they look like jewels. They don't look like they've been Oh, I should trade. send them to London? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. In her coffin. That's my, one of my favorite shawls. Beautiful. I just like the color, and I like how it looks. How long does it take to make these? Well, it depends. I Sometimes a month. Not overnight. Miriam. Miriam, that's me. I know. What do we have? What do, what's, what do you have to show what us? What we have? Um, everything I made, uh, the mask which I made by the hundreds before uh, when the COVID just started for the hospital, and then the clay stuff which we had a teacher here, and we learned so many things from her, uh, the bookmarks, that stuff, a baby little heart for my grandnieces in Argentina, which I gonna take. Yeah, from dried flowers, leaves and flowers. I dry them and then I make the bookmarks. I guess you can call it 3D art. It's taking a photograph and making copies and copies and cutting and making layers.
for example, a picture that I did is particularly by daughter Rona when she was 16. And, and you would imagine that that's puffed up, but it's not. It's just layers and layers to make it, give it the illusion that it's puffed up. This one is basically me. And a picture of Rona that I painted when she was maybe five or six years old. To have to look up and find all the scissors and the mesh tape measures, all these little things are all cut out, actually with my trigger machine, but I have to find them in order to make the right size. Now, for example, my arm is maybe three or four layers of pictures. I was very, 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 very impressed with everybody, the excitement. And by the way, we had over 125 people that I clicked. <laughs> and everyone said to me, what do you need a clicker for? <laughs> Curiosity. I want to know. And who knows how many people I didn't click. <laughs> I felt that the exhibit was so beautiful and so nice and everything was... Everyone deserves something for it. So this is my way of saying thank you for coming, for participating. So I have several prizes in store for you. Oh, and then you're going to wonder what all these bags are. They're also my way of saying thank you. you have Sylvia, you are incredible. <laughs> exhibitors and a special special thank you again to Just Sylvia no, I just want to say this is the first year that I've participated in this and I didn't think that puzzles or doing puzzles was anything very creative but it's something that I enjoy doing after the event, thank you, I said that um, I was taking a rest from puzzles. Then I was in the public library where they sell puzzles. And I saw something and I couldn't resist it. So I have another puzzle. <laughs> so thank you, Sylvia, so much for including me. It was a wonderful afternoon and the response was excellent. Thank you. I was really happy to see that. I had a and I'm looking forward forward to next year. <laughs> <laughs> so now, the reason why I wanted this, it's on the red carpet, there's always, how can I put it, awards. So I'm going to start the awards. Dennis will be presiding on that. Bob Hope. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I, uh, I think we owe a deep amount of gratitude to Sylvia for organizing this art show and bringing out the artistic talent in this community. I think it was a really a beautiful event. Whether one person or 150 people showed, it was a beautiful event and it certainly allowed me to experience, you know, many people's work. And for that, I'm deeply grateful by to the way, Dennis is a newcomer to our, to our community. So this is a great way of him meeting <coughs> most of us. Well, I, actually, Sylvia, I, I thought that this was a good way that, of, of making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> you know, having to identify people whose uh, artwork First of all, I, I liked everybody's artwork very much, and uh, being a judge allowed me the opportunity to talk to many of you about your work and how you do it. And uh, that was really, I really appreciate that. I'm not particularly an artist, although I really do enjoy art very much. So it did inspire me, so I would like to even learn more, more about your work. Um, Okay, uh, on behalf of the uh, Four Seasons uh, Wayne Academy of Arts, uh, the uh, honorable mentions, uh, who unfortunately are not here, uh, one for photography is Judy Fontana, and for, 
for knitting is uh, Beverly uh, Jaroff. Mm -hmm. Jay Singer will take their no. Uh, okay, in, uh, in in third place, uh, something that I enjoy very much is the uh, diamond art by Lucille Denon. It's really quite beautiful. Would you please come up, Lucille? Yes. Take Okay, I'll take it off. Do you want me to take it? Yes, please. 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 In second place, <clears throat> a most delicious artwork is done by Sari McIntyre. This is why I kept you away from everything. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> In first place is uh, Barbara Tatuso. Yes, yes. For, for, for her work in quilting. Thank you so much. Beautiful work. Really beautiful work. Yay, Barbara. Beautiful work.